SAFM, South Africa's news and information leader. Thanks, Nancy. In the news, e-tolling can't go ahead for now and the British economy returns to recession. Good afternoon. The North Gauteng High Court has ruled that the e-tolling matter is sufficiently urgent to consider granting an interdict halting it. This interdict is being subjected to a full court hearing. Sunral will not be able to go ahead with its planned implementation of the system on Monday if the interdict is granted. Judge Bill Prinsler is dealing with an application by the opposition to Urban Tolling Alliance. The ANC Youth League in the Northern Cape says the league will be petitioning the mother body's National Executive Committee to review the expulsion of League President Julius Malema. The ANC's Disciplinary Committee of Appeals last night confirmed Malema's expulsion and the suspension of League Secretary General Cindy Somagata and spokesperson Flo Chibambu. The league provincial chairperson Shadrach Klaule says as far as they are concerned, the three remain in their positions until the party's Mangaung conference in December. It is not something that we can still say that we need to get a permission from someone. It has been there, we have been saying it, we are saying it, we will continue to say it moving forward. The only platform that will stop us as the Youth League to speak about this matter it will be the National Conference of the ANC. That's the last level to take a decision on behalf of the organization. ANC spokesperson Keith Koza has confirmed that a petition for a review is one of the avenues still open to Malema. What people uh, have suggested is that uh, anybody can petition the leadership of the ANC, the NSC or the National Conference for a review of the decision, which is something that happens when uh, is uh, a, a, an element of dissatisfaction in how the case was done. It's not binding, it's, it's not automatic, and it depends whether uh, the structures of the ANC deem it necessary to do so. The defense lawyer in the Andrea Statane murder trial has pointed out inconsistencies in the evidence presented by the state's first witness in the Fixburg Regional Court. Advocate Johan Nell has put it to Maketa Sulukwe that he had contradicted himself throughout the trial. He says Sulukwe has offered three different versions of the events that unfolded during Tatane's death about a year ago. He again warned Sulukwe that he'll argue later in court that as a witness he had failed dismally to answer some of the crucial questions during cross-examination. Salukwe had earlier told the court that one of the riot police members had carried a big gun during the confrontation with the deceased. Deboholi Chabad reports. Nell said that even the version that Salukwe gave during cross-examination had been fabricated. Salukwe retaliated that it was strange that the defense lawyer labeled him a liar. Nell argued that in a statement to the police, Falvater District Agriculture Union in the Waterberg area of Limpopo says they are still faced with several challenges in the fight against rhino poaching. They include lack of communication equipment, funds, bad conditions of roads and a wider network of assistance. 27 rhinos have been poached in the area since the beginning of 2011, of which three were during this year. However, a member of the union, Ati Lawrence, says they are winning the fight against rhino poaching. I think at this stage in our area, with our success of all the people coming together at this stage and uh, trying their best to organize themselves better with the SAPS to stop it, we are winning it and we have made a few arrests. So we are winning it if you are prepared to, to buy into this, the safety structure, then we will win it.